What if you were psychic and never believed it, and always thought it was just waking nightmares? Ooh, yaoi review. Hi everybody, it's Corbin, and today I'm here to talk to you about Vacant Vol Body, Volume 2, by T. Zeisk, formerly known as, I think it was, like, Reaper Scallion or something like that. Um, so, we'll read the, well, the online summary and delve into the nitty gritty. While struggling with his worsening nightmares, Lieutenant Detective Ash Voss learns more secrets about the intuitive counselor Jonah Leaf's supernatural abilities as they press on towards solving the murder of Mia Castell. Voss's growing attachment to Johan and Johan's disturbing business of speaking to the dead is becoming more increasingly unsettling as he finds himself increasingly drawn to the young man's unearthly charm and sexual desires. This is rated 18 plus and it's published by Yaoi Revolutions. Now, Yaoi Revolutions is kind of an independent publisher. They're absolutely amazing. I'll link their actual page down below so you guys can read about them, but I love their work. They make great selections and I love everything about them. They're really super friendly and super nice. So yes, let's delve into this. So, I ordered this as pre-release. I got this about a week ago, and I read it instantly. So let's start with art style. The art style is the same as the first volume. Um, absolutely amazing to look at. It's stunning. It is beautiful. I love it. I absolutely, every time I read this, I forget how stunning it all is. And just how much emotion this artist and this author emotes, and how good the story is, and it how much the art carries it through. So yes, love, love, love the art. Now, plot-wise, when you read this, I will give you a sense of precaution. If you haven't read the first one in a long time, you're going to be really thrown by this one. It took me a beat. It picks up like, literally, you could have turned the page and this one would have been there. It literally picks up right exactly where the last one left off. Which took me a minute to go, okay, wait, what happened? And I had to kind of go back through my memory bank, which took me a minute, to re-click. So the detective finds the journal filled with tons of grotesque paintings of people who have been murdered and pictures and all of this. And he thinks that Johan has killed these people. Now, we know he hasn't because we can see that he sees ghosts. And we can also see that the detective sees ghosts. Now, the detective admits later on that what he sees is not ghosts. It's a waking terror because he gets night terrors. And the boy tells him, no, you're probably psychic and you should probably stop taking the medication because you could help more people. So, those two don't exactly get along in the beginning. The detective goes to find out more about the victim, the body they found of the young girl who had been murdered, um, named Mia Castell. They go to the parents... They discover the mom never really knew her, but loved her, and the stepfather hated her with a passion. So it was not a happy home life. She was dating somebody who was a known drug dealer, and she ended up murdered. We found out she had epilepsy, and that's a very big possibility of what actually killed her comparative to someone actually murdering her. She might just have had an epileptic seizure, whoever was with her confused it as an overdose, and just chucked her out of a car into the side of the road. And that's a big possibility. But, the two men are getting together, both physically and figuratively, and trying to figure out a game plan. This whole volume is literally just setting up a little more of backstories for the main context of the next volume, I'm guessing. Now, I will tell you, the sex scene in this is very hot. It is very 18+. plus. It's very explicit. Um, very well depicted. I mean, I loved it. I, I read it, like, three times, just the sex scene. So I will tell you, it is worth the read. Stunningly drawn. Love it to death. So, my recommendation is I would pick up this little two-part series so far. I pray there is more, because they do have other series, Yaoi Revolutions, that don't continue. They just kind of, the author stops writing and Yaoi Revolutions doesn't press them to keep going because they don't believe they should. It's up to the creative juices of that author to keep the series going. I love it. I think you guys should check it out. I encourage you to. I have no clue if this is available online. I will have you linked to the Yaoi Revolutions page where you can click and follow the store. Keep in mind, all of their stuff is 18+. plus. 
So if you're under 18, don't go. I love it. Love, love, love it. So if you guys have questions or comments, shoot them down below. If you've read this before, let me know where and how, because I want to continue this series, and I want to read way more than this one let, kept going. So yes, shoot me a like, favorite, subscribe, share this with a friend who likes Shaoi, and I'll talk to you guys later. If you Bye. like what you see, hmm, then... Subscribe!